The World Wrestling Federation. For over 50 years, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. Hey guys and welcome to the show. Today I have a nice review for you of a nice Seiko Diver, a solid Seiko Diver, the Seiko Sumo SBDC 001, the OG of the Sumo line. Now this watch, I've wanted it for very long and thankfully my good friend Alon Milovici, the guy with whom I, I did a few shows with, uh, a good guy, to whom I lent my Speedmaster, you know, and that's saying a lot that I I, I I lent my Speedmaster to somebody, I trust this guy with my life, so he entrusted me with his Seiko Sumo and we're gonna do a nice uh, review of it now, so let's flip the camera and start this thing, guys! Thanks for watching and turning on as always, please uh, leave a like, a comment and let me know what you think and uh, if you're interested I can do a custom review for you and always donations and support to the channel is appreciated okay flip it around what? okay go boys and girls here's the sumo the sumo yeah the sumo SBDC 001 I'm doing this review on live stream so I'm getting some feedback while uh, doing the review I've got some nice guys friends supporters channel supporters here on this chat i've got you are wrong vlad toki vulture uh jt the man louis vuitton because i'm banned from gucci the greasy strangler i've got some guys here over uh, uh at the channel so thank you guys for logging on and helping me with the review i really appreciate it you're very kind of you so as always let's talk uh, specs first this is a this watch belongs to the Seiko Prospects line the reference is SBDC 01 the glass is a material a curved hardlex display type is analog display uh, stainless steel thickness uh, is 13 wait th that doesn't make sense just a sec SBDC 01 thickness should be SBDC 01 thickness should be 13 millimeters, yeah. Okay. Uh, bandwidth, the, the the lag width is 20 millimeters. We have a stainless steel uh, bracelet with some uh, polished parts between the links. Very nice, very makes it a little dressy, in my opinion. Got a black dial, very black, no, not uh, sunburst, not. Uh, maybe a little grayish in some um, in some uh, angles but very black very nice you know like very legible we've got the 120 click bezel which makes a very nice clicking sound it's very smooth no back play at all no black play. okay maybe a little bit but really nothing to break nothing to nothing too dramatic the watch weighs with all its links 180 grams so it's a uh, pretty it's a chunker but not something uh, you know too too big of a deal now um, the water resistance waterproof it's waterproof to 200 millimeter uh, one 200 um, meters Movement is uh, the 6R15 from Seiko. Now this is a problem with the watch because 
I mean, it's not that bad, okay, but... Uh, hey, Red Skunk, how are you doing? It's not that bad, okay, but... It's a hit or miss. You can have a very good movement, which was nicely regulated by the... Hi, Frederick. Which was nicely regulated by the robot at the Psycho Factory in Japan. Now, this is a JDM model. This is from Japan, you know? Um... So you can have that. By the way, sorry, I, I, I this is, is not the SBDC 001. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is the SBDC, uh, I think, th a, a 3-1. Just a sec. Yeah, it's a Seiko sp uh, uh, speedy SBDC 031 because it has the Prospects logo, which you cannot see at the moment at the six o'clock position so this is the newer version of the sumo and that's about the the technical specs now let me show you a loom sh uh, not a loom shot uh, a wrist shot now my my wrist is seven inches so let me see how it wears I'll put the camera a little farther up so overall it was pretty nice I gotta check what's the lag to lag so I will understand why it was pretty nice pretty nice um, it's very comfortable on the wrist the, the cushion the case is is uh, very comfortable it hugs the wrist nicely so no problem there uh, SBDC 031, lag to lag. Lag to lag. Okay. So the bla bracelet is held by pins and collars, the dreaded pin and collar system of Seiko. Some people think it's a dog to handle, personally I don't mind, but you just have to be gentle. <sighs> what else, guys? Yeah, it's pretty, it's a chunker. We have a signed, signed uh, crown here. It's a screw down crown. And look at the case back. You have the good old Seiko Wave dial, the back. Some info about the watch. Let's see when this one was produced. This one was created in... It where where is it? Uh, September of 2017. So this is a four-year-old watch. Okay, guys, let's look at the loom and then wrap this up. Uh, and just let me say a few words before that. So, you know, apart from the specs and all the details, the aesthetic details, this watch is a great daily diver. Uh, you can wear it anywhere, you can wear it to the pool, to the sea, to the supermarket. I, I wouldn't wear it to a, an event or to a business meeting because it's not uh, a dressy watch. It's a tool watch, it's meant to represent you, you know, to service you, serve, serve you as a watch which is faithful, which is can, can go through, you know, the bumps and grinds of life. And uh, it's, it feels great in the, in the hand, it's got a good heft. It's hefty, but it's not uncomfortable. Now, this is, has the classic Seiko diver layout, the, the, the round indices, the, um, you know, those hands, everything. It's just classic now. It's very legible. It's a try. It's it. The movement is. Can, I mean, the movement is a hit or miss. Either you get the, uh, you get a good movement, a good accuracy or not. But you can always regulate it with a Seiko, somebody who knows how to regulate this movement. The six hour fifteen. Um, what else, guys? You know, it has the again the classic Seiko di uh, diver configuration. So, it's it's a classic. It will always be a classic. It never goes out of style. This is uh, you know. This is a watch that it will be timeless, in my opinion. Uh, there's also, as Vlad says on the chat, there's a cool Sumo 15th anniversary uh, edition, which is as like a, a blue and um, red dial or something like that, and little green, uh, yellow 
but personally i would go for this one i think this is the most classic configuration and guys let's let's look at have a look at the loom and wrap this one up just a second okay you look short time well, guys as you can see some nice nice loom very legible very glowing this will last you all night long no worries about that the minute hand the second hand the, the hour hand and the loom pip are all loomed up so that's great guys um, so again a very great watch for day-to-day -day wear this one is a no-brainer now the, the last thing I have to tell you about is the price and I have to look it up right now so just a second guys one second So, let me let me pull up Watch Recon and tell you the prices. WatchRecon.com. WatchRecon, by the way, is a great site if you want to look at secondhand pieces. SBDC 031. So they're, they're going for around. Four hundred and fifty to five hundred. To six hundred US dollars depends on the condition. If they have a sapphire crystal, this one has a mineral. So some people replace them, uh, you know, manually uh, like um, with watchmakers. So they cost more. But generally, uh, it's a very, it's a good price. I think you get a lot from your money, and uh, really, you can go wrong with this watch, guys. So really, guys great great watch great value great value for money great bang for buck and um, that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the review again I will really uh, um, please like share subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't hit you don't uh, uh, miss any not uh, updates from me um, any donations to the channel are appreciated uh supporters get discounts for watch uh <laughs> watch reviews um yeah i'm making a review live i'm just wrapping this up uh watch reviews please uh send me your requests to mafioso m like mother a f like foxtrot i o z like zebra o at gmail.com it's 10 bucks per piece if you want your entire collection review that's 50 bucks if you're a subscriber i'm gonna give you a 25 percent uh, discount just give me a proof that you are subscribed to my channel and uh, i also do custom review uh, uh, videos for 20 bucks if you have a watch related question or a live question or anything about video games music uh history these are things that i like I, I i tend to think that i have some knowledge about them so let me know and i'll be happy to make a video for you and uh, if you don't like the video then i'm gonna do i'm uh, gonna do changes and you know until you're satisfied i satisfy my customers you know the customer is always right even when they're wrong that's it guys more reviews coming to the channel i'm gonna review these specs this uh christian dior i'm gonna review this uh these headphones from uh what's it called i forgot i'm gonna review my phone i'm gonna review my i'm gonna review everything i'm, I'm just a watch reviewer on youtube you know i'm just another fucking reviewer who fucking cares thanks guys and have a great day take care ciao